In this session, I am going to demonstrate to you the first PowerPoint presentation exercise which is listed on your practical list. In the first exercise, you are supposed to create a presentation that contains five slides which describes something about your college. The presentation should contain images, charts, bulleted text and so on. So we will try to create the simple PowerPoint presentation. I have with me the PowerPoint. To create a new presentation, click on the file and new presentation. Select the blank presentation and then start with the first slide. Now here you are supposed to type the name of your college. I will not be typing anything but uh, I am simply going to copy paste the content so as to reduce the video content. You know the name of your college so just type the name of your college followed by your name and uh, register number. Remember, you don't need to type the whole register number. You can type the last three digits of your register number. To insert the next slide, go to the Home tab over here and you will find the new slides. You can just click on this one or you can use Control M to create this one. So if you click on the down arrow, you will get the list of uh, different types of slides. I'm going to just click on this, not the down arrow, just on this one. If you just, instead of clicking on the down arrow, if you just click on here, the new slides with the single content will be added. Now here, you are going to describe something about uh, your college. So I'm going to put the title as about, that is about your college, and uh, you know who founded your college or uh, something about uh, your college and because most of the colleges uh, have NAC accreditation they generally have uh, this information vision of the college so this particular college was founded by the government of Karnataka and it has the vision now when you uh, have uh, the content over here you can use the tab to increase or decrease the indent. You can also use um, the home tab and increase decrease indent. So I'm going to just demonstrate to you how this is going to work. Suppose uh, if you click here right at the beginning and uh, increase the indent it will come first. If you decrease it will go next. So this is what you are going to do. Just write three lines that is enough. You don't have to explain the whole story over here. Remember in the PowerPoint you just write the bulleted points. It was founded by this one. College has a vision and if you know what is a vision you just write what is the vision of the college and why it is named like this. So after this let's go to the next slide. So I'm going to go and uh, click on the home and insert. So you click on home and uh, the slide over here and just click next. Next we are supposed to insert the college photo. Generally the college photo will be provided to you or you can uh, just insert any photo assuming that this is the college photo just type the title as college photo and then insert the college photo. If you notice over here you have different option over here. You can insert a picture, you can insert a table, you can insert a chart and so on so forth. You can click from here and insert it or you can go to the insert menu over here and then do the same thing insert picture, chart, shape and so on. It is same as the Microsoft Word. I'm going to do it from here because it is much faster to insert an image from here. So click on this part right at the middle, click on it, 
and select the photo i'm going to select the college photo if the size of the photo is smaller you can adjust it remember if you click at the middle if you notice the mouse pointer it will show the 400 arrow click and drag drag means don't leave the mouse pointer just take it to one corner and then go to the edge of it this is the diagonal edge we can increase it like this or increase it like this you see the arrow here or go here to the corner and increase its size so once the size is approximate okay you can just leave it there so that adds three slides here generally the first slide is not considered you need as far as the question you need five slides that is the minimum we will go with the minimum itself let's insert the new slide remember when you click on here if you look at here if you, you can click on any of this slide or you can click on the blank area after this slide if you notice a line will appear so when you click on the slide generally it may show insert and so on and so forth if you click the outside that is in the blank area you will have an option to insert a new slide so generally it will come there so i will go to the home in any case click on the home and insert the slide so this is easier so insert a slide here now the next thing that i am going to use is the courses that are offered so for this i can go here and select two content so click on the down arrow and select to content okay so you can do like this or suppose if you have just clicked on this one and a new slide has appeared a blank slide with the single content has appeared you can go here to the blank area over here and uh, right click on it and you get the option for changing the layout i'm going to show it uh, in uh, zoomed out option so if you right click on any of this slide for that matter right click and you will see an option for layout in this layout you can always change the layout of the slide so it is easier if i do this you will notice that uh, immediately it will change to two sided so i'm going to do it uh, with the uh, zoomed out option so i will this was the first option right click on this area and go to the slide layout and select to content so this is to content immediately it will change to to content next thing you can do is the different courses that are offered in your college in the college that uh, i have selected there are two types of courses are there one is pg and the other one is ug undergraduate and post graduate so if you don't have the post graduation in your college you can always go with the single slide layout that is the title and content this layout suppose if you have two content that is uh, two courses pg is also offered or maybe other diploma course or something else is offered you can go for this one but don't go for each and everything i'm going to copy paste it so on one side i will use the undergraduate courses you can use the tab to make it appear neat so click and press tab and you can get the thing on the other side you i'm going to select the pg courses assume that i'm typing it because uh, if i start typing it may take longer time so once you click on here press the tab so tab on your keyboard you have a key, a key called as tab click on the tab key when the, you can notice uh, you can use it either you can do this or you can do the increase or decrease indent levels so if you decrease it it will come back if you increase it it will go back again increase it will go to the next slide so this uh, completes your third slide let's go to the fourth slide again i'm going to 
click on the home and insert new slide again if you notice I have clicked outside here and then click the new slide now if the slide appears as two-sided you can always right click and then change the layout and make it as title and content okay so if you if you can see it I'm going to zoom it out for you so title and content you can always change the layout of uh, any slide then let us put um, the student strength now as far as uh, the question we are supposed to insert a picture that we have done inserted image we have done inserted a bulleted text we have done insert a chart that is what we are supposed to do it so let's insert a chart now to insert a chart there are two ways in which you can do it one is uh, remember don't select this and then try to insert it just click outside see to it that nothing is selected then go to insert and insert menu and chart insert menu and chart you can see there or the easiest way and I prefer this way you will find here first one is table second one is insert chart this is the easiest one you don't need to search anything just click on here and you'll get the option I'm going to put a pie chart here which is the easiest one so I will select the pie chart okay you can select line chart or you can do anything I'm going to select the pie chart and I am not interested in changing the color and so on and so forth and because I don't want to waste my time during the examination so I will select one simplest one click OK when you click OK you get a chart like this and you get an option like this a table with the option I'm going to type the courses BCA press enter BA BCOM maybe BBA okay, if you have MA MCOM you don't need to type all the courses remember don't waste your time in typing all the courses okay may done if you want you can also insert a BSA and so on so for my personal advice don't waste too much of time in PowerPoint because you have to complete the Excel as well as uh, Microsoft Access. So keep it simple. Assume that there are uh, 180 students are there. You can just type some number here. 340 students are there. 400 students are there. Assume that there are some students are there. 178 students are there. 50, 66 students are there. 55 students are there in MCOM. That's it. Now only thing you need to do is uh, you need to change this okay and you can say total students you can do anything you can uh, type anything total student don't type uh, again don't waste too much of time in doing that once it is done just click it is done close this one by clicking on this X here just click on this X and it's all done okay now again if you want to get it back you have an option to select the data okay you can click on this and then select the data so from here also you can do it so I'm going to just show you if you want that table back you just click on select the data okay you can make changes but my personal advice is just keep it as simple as possible okay you can edit the data you can do it no doubt you can change it you can select a different data you can do it but my advice is once you get it type it and leave it okay whether it uh, looks good bad worse it is not, not a issue you have the one two three four slides with you okay don't try to waste your time in selecting anything from here Okay, just a simple slide it's all over if you made a mistake you click on edit data and make changes okay and then close it so your this slide is over let's go to the next slide
I'm going to insert a new slide over here and I will add the next information that is about uh, contact details. So I will add contact details. Now I will show it in the form of a table because table is also generally inserted. Again, you don't need to struggle for the table. Table is available here, right here, insert table. You are going to get it then and there. So in the examination, you instead of searching for insert and then table, going to the insert menu and then clicking on the table you can straight away get the table over here okay see to it that there are two columns are there two columns and maybe four rows okay that's enough two columns and four rows don't go for 10 columns and uh, 10 rows and other things you will be wasting your time so click ok it's all done okay only thing is I'm going to make some small changes I will make go here in the middle and slightly drag it to the other side so that you I have enough space on the other side so keep it as it is don't worry about its color and other things they have not asked in the university question and nowhere they have said you have to put the colors so it is not mentioned let's start with the first one you know the address so first is the address you know the address of your college you don't need to remember you know the address you don't need to exactly write the address you just write the name of the college near something and uh, city that's it it's done next part is uh, name of the principal you know the name of the principal you don't have to struggle for this information because it is known to you so type something which is easy to remember and uh, which you can quickly type it. Email address, if you don't know, just type some email address. So just type email and type something, something.com, okay. I just typed uh, something.com, okay. And then the phone number, if you don't know the phone number, type your own phone number. Nobody is going to verify, call and verify whether that is actual the phone number. Okay, so if it is not known, just type uh, your own phone number. That's it. It's done. So if you look at here, you have six slides. They said that uh, we are supposed to create a minimum of five slides and I have created six slides. Stop the presentation at this point and save your work. So it is simple. You type the name of the college, your register number and the name then about this college who founded this college something about this college it is found near the beach near the railway station near something you know where your college is situated something about your college only three lines are enough don't waste your energy in this one next about the courses that it is offering ug courses and pg courses if you want you write the pg courses or simply stop with the ug courses bsc bcom and so on and so forth then put a student strength in BCom BA and something okay one chart and a table that's all you go here and uh, click on here and click on save as and save at the place where they have specified it that's all in this presentation thank you for your interest